Hi everybody, it's Tyler here at Vectros. Now check in with your V5 high school champions, 80,001B and also 2775B. What a phenomenal set of performances. I got Mikey and Sam here to talk more about the incredible win that they had here today. Mikey, I'm gonna start with you here. Uh, coming in as the Alliance captain for this, you had an incredible just set of matches going all the way through. Uh, talk to me a little about your quals matches, some of the strategy, what led you to seeding so high? Yeah, a lot of the qual strategy was based off of autonomous. We had a nice autonomous win point that we did all by ourselves, so it allowed us to rank high with win points in autonomous. And looking at uh, getting into uh, playoff matches, why was Jackson such a great fit for your Alliance? Well, during quals, we saw their tier three hit many times, and it's just so many points that we couldn't, we couldn't not pick them. Sammy, your tier three has been so critical uh, throughout the whole way. Can you talk about uh, adding that tier three on and how you got it ready for Vex Rolls? Yeah, for sure. So even before we decided on this design, we knew we knew that we would need a tier three climbing mechanism that could get the higher ring. We went through a few different designs, uh, brainstormed a few different ones, and then on the blue, we saw a design pretty similar to this that was able to inspire us um, to figure out how to climb more efficiently. and make it as seamless with our robot design as possible. We've had a couple chances to talk during signature events, uh, but those two signature events uh, didn't maybe perform quite as far as you want to, but you really just kind of took off from there and had a phenomenal uh, season through that. Now looking here, uh, getting uh, through your divisions on the doing, what was the feeling when you finally won uh, your divisional matches and were able to get back and do them? What were you feeling then? Well, I've been able to make it out of the division a few times before, but I've never felt more confident than I have now uh, with the consistency of our climb and how well it was able to score. I knew that if any year was the year, it was this one. There was a really uh, tough set of finals matches here in Dome, right? Like finals of one, uh, you, you know, you lose Auton, not quite able to make the comeback all the way through. When that match went down and you're looking at the finals two, did any of the strategy change or what were some of the conversations like leading into finals two? Yeah, we just rewatched the match, looked at our mistakes. Um, a lot of errors happened that could be prevented, and we did the, rep, uh, the necessary preparations before the match, like thinning the wheels, and then just clarifying communication before our finals two. Were there any uh, other modifications in terms of like you know going for a mobile goal early or anything like that, or trying to get a positive corner at a certain time, or trying to take one of their positive corners, anything like that? Yeah, so in finals one, we decided to try and tip their positive, but. It turned out to not be successful, and in finals two, we played more conservative, and instead of uh, scrambling at the end, we coordinated throughout and swaps consistently with our communication, and yeah. It's a couple times that uh, Jackson area, it seemed like you climbed quite early in the match to secure that high stake. Why was it so important, and what was, can you kind of break down the timing on that and why you chose to climb, and one of them was about a minute left in the match? Yeah, so I mean, in finals one, we weren't able to climb as early as we would have liked, and that messed us up pretty bad. We weren't able to get the high stake uh, and we didn't even have a tier three climb we were down to tier two uh, and this was because the defense that they were able to play later in the match so we knew that the earlier we climbed the more preoccupied they would be with other tasks on the field doing wall stakes following their own mobile goals and that would give us a perfect opportunity to get that high climb and especially after we got that autonomous bonus in uh, the finals three um, there's really no mathematical possible way for them to beat us if they don't have a tier three of their own if we have two mobile goals and the autonomous bonus these are your Vax V5 high school champions. Congratulations, both teams. Live it up, and what a phenomenal performance you have this season. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.